So if you're interested in how I did this look over there, please keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I do my uh, mask makeup. We have to wear a face mask every day just to protect ourselves and others. It's clean! How are you guys doing? So before I start my video, I will ask you guys please like, share, and subscribe. Before I start off my makeup, I already moisturized my face and um, I'm gonna put on some lip balm before I start anything. I'll be using the uh, my favorite lip balm. It's from Dr. Pow Pow. This is very moisturizing and this is like a two-in-one product. So we got the um, lip balm itself and we also got a lip scrub which I like. Sometimes you know we got some dead skin even on our lips too. So it's great that this product contain everything that we need for our lips. So I'm just gonna moisturize my lips. Very moisturizing too. And um, also because we'll be covering half of our face with face mask, primer is very important and setting spray. I'm gonna put my hair back. Keep them away from my face. So if you're wondering why I keep looking down because I have my mirror down here. Just if you're wondering. So today I'll be using the NYX Honeydew Prime and Base. This thing so pretty, look at that. It got like gold flakes all over and this gonna lock your foundation in place and because this thing is very tacky, sticky, so it's gonna your foundation is gonna stay. In all the area that I I would normally put primer. So what I do is I don't rub it in. I just kind of tap it all over my face. And while you're tapping, you can really feel that tackiness. This thing works like glue. It's also very hydrating as well. Okay, after I apply the NYX primer, I'm actually gonna go into second primer. Because we really want the foundation or our makeup to last long. We don't want any makeup to transfer to our face mask. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC. Just gonna spread a few pump all over my face. Just gonna thin dry it. This thing smells good too. I actually run through a lot of bottle of this. After two layers of primer, I'll be going to foundation. Uh, today I'm using the uh, Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is a Pro Filled Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So I'm just gonna pump, one pump, and then uh, I'm just gonna dab a little bit all over my face. I like to work my foundation in little by little, like in thin layer, so our face doesn't look cakey. And then I'm gonna use like a uh, foundation brush. This is the uh, Real Technique Expert Face Brush. So like this, I'm just gonna buff all the foundation in. Work in circular motion especially our nose area this way the foundation gonna look smoother
you are too far away. I like to use like the leftover or the accept foundation on my eyelid as well. Just use it as a base. So our first layer is done. I'm gonna go into second layer. Same thing, repeat the step. Gonna dab the foundation all over our face. Remember, thin layer. We can do it in several steps, but thin layer is the key. So even though we're using like a matte foundation, it will still look natural on our face. Same thing, work it in in circular motion. We need to take our time with this because we don't want any makeup to transfer on our face mask. When we are done with the second layer, I usually use the same brush. Just dab a little bit more on the brush and just kind of like tap it on to the area where we want a little bit more coverage. Because I have a lot of um, freckle and like sunspot, so I normally want a little bit more coverage on those area. Okay, so now we are done with our foundation. I'm gonna go into uh, concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And when I use this concealer, it doesn't really tend to uh, crease that much. I've used the uh, NARS one. Um, that one, it's very hydrating, good coverage as well, but I feel like this compared to the NARS one, this one blends a little bit easier and um, it doesn't crease as much as the NARS concealer. So I'm just gonna uh, tap a little bit under my eyes and some acne spots that I have or like heart, some higher pigmentation area, which is nose and a little bit around my mouth area and this area right here and I like to use my finger with concealer I just feel that it's easier to blend it works better with your finger See? the coverage is very good Tap, tap, tap. So I'm wondering how how is the COVID in the area that you guys live in? Because um, in the city I live in, uh, we are entering to phase two. So restaurants are allowing dine-ins again, so I feel like, you know, wearing makeups again, it's nice. I'm doing this for you guys. I hope you guys like to watch it. Leave your comment down below, if you like it or not, or if you have questions, just comment down below. After the concealer. I like to go in with a wet sponge and just tap, 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 blend the concealer and foundation together. And usually I like to go in with a little bit of the uh, MAC Prep and Prime spray, like just spray a little bit on the sponge. I found that because we are tapping it with the setting spray our makeup is gonna last even longer you know the whole point that we are doing all these steps 
is to ensure that we lock all the makeup in place. Okay. And then what we're gonna do next is to set our face with a little bit translucent powder. Today I'm using the Holy Grail <laughs> product. Uh, it's the uh, Laura Mercier uh, translucent or um, mineral finishing powder. So I'm just gonna take a puff and just dab the powder. So working in like this spread it evenly and we're gonna press the powder in this is gonna ensure to lock our foundation we are mainly focusing in the area where the mask is gonna land on so basically like around this area we really want to press the powder in those are the area that will the mask will rub against the most. So let's press it in. And on our chin area and under the jawline because the face mask is gonna land on this area too. So we don't want any makeup to transfer to the mask. And then with the excess, the leftover, we're gonna work it in the other areas. So this whole video is really all about how to lock in all our hard work. We're done with the powders and I'm gonna use the MAC setting spray again just a little bit okay so next we're gonna work on our brows I'm using a uh, Japanese brand the Excel I really like this brow pencil. I think you can get it on Amazon. I got this um, a while ago, or I should say I stocked up a lot while I was traveling to Taiwan before the COVID hits. And this is, this is like a drugstore brand, I think. It really glides on nicely and it's cheap. So I feel like makeup, you don't really have to buy very high-end or like a designer brand. A lot of the drugstore brand works just fine, you know. So I normally do. So draw like an outline first and then fill in the gap. <sighs> my hands is not cooperating with me because I drank too much coffee this morning. So my hand's kind of shaky right now. <laughs> okay. Same thing. I'm gonna draw the outline first. And then fill in the gaps. You see how I go back and forth to brows? Because I'm trying to make them look the same. I feel like brow is the hardest part of the whole makeup. I think it's pretty even. Look pretty identical right now. Okay, maybe a little bit longer here. 
what is your guys favorite step about the makeup like comment down below and let me know like i see the brows is the most important step because you know if you have good brows your makeup is already looking 10 times better and it's gonna wake you up so much and I'm gonna go in with a small brush like a little tiny brush to clean up the edges using the same con uh, same concealer I'm just tapping a little bit on the side of the cap like this Next up, uh, we're going to be doing our eyes. Since the face mask is going to cover half of our face, so we're really going to focus in on our eye makeup. So I think today I'm going to go in with more like a neutral color. And I'm using the Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill palette. This one, like the packaging is already like very dirty <laughs> I used it a lot and you got a lot of color as well look at these colors like so pretty you got all the colors that you want and you can really get very creative with this palette I think so I'm gonna focusing in like this area where all the like neutral color is or maybe like these two like this very light shade and act like a transitioning color so we are just gonna put it all over the lid same thing with the other eye The second shade, a little bit darker shade, this one, it's kind of orangey and mustard color. And work it in. We're gonna lay below that trans transition color. bright. I was gonna turn on the light on my mirror but it's too bright. I got this mirror over here. Can you see my situation right now? So messy. So yeah I was tr trying to turn on the light but it was too bright. So forget about it. I'm gonna find a uh, flat brush like this. This is a little bit more dense. So we're gonna use this and grab this color over here. It's a little bit darker. I'm gonna work in to our outer corner. So just gonna pat this in first, really focusing on the outer corner of our eyes this is gonna add a little bit definition to our eyes just gonna pat it in first and don't worry it looks a little bit crazy right now we're gonna blend it all out later I don't know why I always make a face a weird face when I'm doing like eyeliner and eyeshadow. Do you guys do that? Like, I don't know why. Like, I can control myself. But when I look back to my videos, I was like, why am I doing that? 
after after we lay out that color, we're gonna find a fluff, fluffy brush like this, like a very fluffy brush, a little bit angle brush, and just blend out the edges. Like eye makeup is all about laying color and blending it out. I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's like a brick red color. Same thing, lay it like outer corner, like focusing. Focusing on the outer corner, like very close to our lash line. We lay it down, we blend it forward just a little bit. Don't bring it up too high though. Stay close to our lash line. When we are wearing a mask, we really want the eye makeup to pop, to stand out because most of the time people are just staring at your eyes. And then we're gonna blend again with the same fluffy brush. Blend out the edges. And I'm gonna use the, uh, the leftover powder and work a little bit on our lower lash line. Just bring it in like one third don't drag it all the way because I have monolid and my eye is not very big if I bring it all the way up it's gonna close up my eyes it's gonna make it look even smaller so just a little bit okay. I'm gonna use a shimmer color I'm gonna use this peachy shimmer color. I'm gonna use my finger. I just find that shimmer shadow works the best with your finger. And it's gonna make it even more shine when you compare to using a brush. So I'm gonna just lay it on in the front of our eyes. And just bring a little bit on our tear duct. Same thing with the other eye. I'm gonna pat it on in the front of the eyes. And then after that peachy, this peachy shimmer shade, and I'm gonna grab this lighter shade. Kind of like, um, what color is this? Like pale, very pale shimmer shade, and use a clean finger. Put it on, put it on like the very front of our eye. It gives it a little bit like a ombre effect, if you know what I mean using the same brush again just to blend all the eyeshadow all the edges smooth it out and last I'm gonna grab the same color that we use for transitioning color this one in a flat fluffy brush to go over where we blend the eyeshadow. This will give our eyes a little bit more depth. Now we're moving on to eyeliner. I'm using the 
art eyeliner. And what I do is I get very close to my lash line and draw a very thin line. Oh my god, my hands is shaking. Now I know that the day I'm filming a video, don't drink too much coffee. <laughs> and then I'm gonna wing it out a little bit since we are doing a lot of color today. We can finally go out and eat again. So, make it extra. I know these days we don't really put on makeup anymore because we have nowhere to go. But right now, it's a very good chance to play with makeup. And like two of my eyes, they're different shape. So eyeliner is very hard. Okay, they look pretty good, pretty even right now. Same thing, I'm gonna use a tiny brush to sharpen the line of the eyeliner with a concealer. And I'm gonna actually put a little bit of concealer on my lower lash, lash line, just the outer corner. It's gonna brighten out my eye. It'll open it up, open up my eyes a little bit, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes. to mascara this is a Japanese brand as well it's called the Harling Make long and curl mascara super waterproof for my lashes I can't wear non waterproof mascara because once I put it on my lashes will just go back to normal so this thing save my lashes so I will start with the root and just brush it through and gives my lashes extra length as well. Can you see the difference? Like it elongates your lashes a lot and make it very curl. Actually like this curl will just stay up all day same thing with the other side Like with this mascara, I don't even need falsy. So it saved me a lot of time with this. And now onto blush. 
And I'm actually gonna go in with a high lighter brush because it's small and I'm actually gonna just focusing on like below our eyes because that's when we have the mask on we can't really see the rest of our face so there's no point to put blush on our cheekbone or the apple of our cheeks just no point so I'm gonna lay the blush like just focusing under our eyes like where we would normally put concealer that's where I put my blush so same thing on this side I found that putting blush under our eyes looks very cute it looks like you had like a couple drinks and you just get a glow from it so when I drink alcohol I get very bad Asian glow so this would just look like I had a couple alcohol drink okay I'll show you a little bit more Oh, I forgot to mention I'm using uh, Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Party. Next up, we're gonna do a little bit of highlights. Huh, what highlight should I use today? I have a lot of highlight. I'm obsessed with highlighter. I have so many. Hmm. I forgot the brand because it's not it didn't say on the back I remember it's from the brand Julep I think it's Julep but I'll link all my products on the description box below if you guys like any of the products you can check out the description box after this video so this is in the shade of uh, Confetti I know there's like no point to put blush or highlighter when you're wearing a face mask but why not like you still want to look put together when you take off your mask so just do whatever that makes you look beautiful and pretty so I'm gonna show you how the highlighter look it's like this it got like purple shine to it can you tell it's like very pretty and I'm gonna use a fan brush look look isn't this so pretty it goes very nicely with the blush it's so nice let me show you the other side without like nothing like BAM like she's so pretty more and I'm gonna give a little bit under my brow or all the area that you normally put highlighter I'm not gonna do contour today I feel like it's already looking pretty good and our face will be covered so no need contour today and next it's time to do our lips and I'm using YSL this is in the shade 7 this is like a, a liquid tint and I like the applicator like it's big enough and it got like a angle to it so it glides on and it helps you work in the product very easily So 
try to use a matte lipstick when you're wearing a mask. Otherwise, it's gonna transfer to your mask. So now I'm just gonna let it dry and it will dry down to a matte finish uh, so then it won't transfer to the face mask but if you are still worried about like your lipstick got onto your mask you can do a extra step I'm gonna get a small fluffy brush and grab a little bit of the setting powder and just lay it on top of our lipstick like so and then brush it through your lips so you don't leave out any gap okay move on to our last step I think you guys already guessed it our final step it's setting spray again to lock in all the makeup just gonna give it a fill spray and here we have it guys but before I go, I want to prove that this is really a transfer proof makeup tutorial or tips. So right now I'm gonna put on my face mask. And press it in for you guys just to make sure it's really transfer proof. Count, 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 count. Count, 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 count. Like the nose area too. See? It's clean! Do you guys see that? Like, nothing gets transferred. Like, it's clean. Alright guys, I hope you guys like this video and I hope that the tips I share with you guys will help you a little bit and um i hope you guys have a wonderful day please wear your mask and protect yourself and protect other people as well if you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up share and subscribe and i will link everything down below don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell so you can get not notified every time i post a new video all right take care guys see you next time Bye.